G'day legends, welcome to a new video and this one we're going in the computer. It's a bit of a post editing one. Super basic one about um, exporting out of Lightroom. So uh, some members of my courses and a few people on the Instagram have just asked me recently uh, how to get the, how to export the, the images out of Lightroom. Some people are exporting the images out of Lightroom and not realizing that they're not getting the full strength of their camera's resolution and um, you don't want that. You've got an expensive, excellent, amazing performing digital camera and you wanna get that output uh, as high as possible, especially if you're gonna go large with a print. So it's super important to export out of the camera, uh, sorry, out of Lightroom at your full capabilities to save as a high resolution. So that's what this video is about. So if you're unsure about how to do this or you're unsure that you are actually exporting your images at their best resolution. Uh, best have a look at this quick video. If you want to learn any more, I've got uh, links to my courses below. I uh, love having you on board as members and just asking questions within this YouTube or on my Instagram. So without further ado, here's the little screen share video tutorial. Yo. Okay, so this is a quick video in how to export at high resolution out of Lightroom. So I've had a couple of members that are getting stumped with just exporting high res off a high resolution camera, but then going to a print lab and then print lab saying that they're not high enough resolution. So it must be in the way that they're exporting. So we're gonna just quickly check that. So I've got my picture here. To export this picture, once you've done all your adjustments in Lightroom, you go file, down to export. It brings up this panel. Now, I make uh, little user presets and I'll show you how to do that afterwards, but we're just going to make sure that you're exporting your file at the highest resolution. Uh, the first panel is where it actually goes. So that's just so you, uh, your file is going to where you want it. File uh, renaming, I just leave this blank. You don't want to rename the file. It's not a video. This is where we get into the file settings. So now in file settings, you can have it as a JPEG, PSD, TIFF, PNG. I either go JPEG or TIFF. For the actual highest resolution, select TIFF. Then you'll get options that come up. Make sure the compression is on none. You can have the bit depth at 16 bits. I do and change it in Photoshop, to, but to save confusion, and if you forget, sometimes it's best to go 8 bits. It's not a huge difference, but I'll leave that in 16 bit. Uh, RGB 98 is a really good one to edit in, but most labs and screen output will be in S sRGB, so you can choose either between that. I export in, in RGB 1998, but then I've got an action in Photoshop that changes to sRGB. Okay, so that's TIFFs, but JPEG is good enough and as long as you set the JPEG settings right, uh, you won't get tripped up here. So JPEG, make sure your quality is at 100. Your color space, once again, can be sRGB. Do not tick this limit to file size because you. this is where you may be tripping up. This could be ticked and it could be coming in under a certain file size. So make sure you've got these settings. JPEG, your quality's on 100, like the best it can get. Nothing like below. Uh, the color space, sRGB is fine. Once again, you can go Adobe 98, but sRGB, I think for most uh, JPEG savings good. Make sure this box is not ticked. Image sizing. This is where else you could be getting tripped up. If you've got image resizing and it's resizing to 1000 pixels, and sometimes the default, I, mean, I know uh, one, of the, uh, one of the members was using their phone and they could have a resize because you, when you're using it on a phone, you don't want massive files. So it might have this automatically set. You want to actually make that sure that is ticked off. You don't want any resizing done. You want to export your picture at its highest resolution. So in this case, I think it's taken with a R5, so it'll be 8,000 pixels wide. But if I had that resize, I've got this beautiful big 8,000 pixel uh, image, but then it's resizing it to 1,000 pixels. So it's making it, you know, way less than, you know, a worse camera <laughs> that you can buy right now. So make sure that is not ticked. 
Uh, output sharpening, I have it ticked off. I do sharpening elsewhere. Um, and then you've got meta tags and you can remove personal information or location information if you want to. Watermark, watermark obviously have that not ticked. That probably won't be ticked. And post processing after export, I just have do nothing. So that is the way I export a uh, high-res JPEG or a high-res TIFF. But I think a high-res JPEG, as long as you've got the quality on 100, you've got um, none of these boxes ticked, no resize to fit, no limit file size, don't have any of that ticked, you're going to get a very high-res um, JPEG. Now, if you wanted to make a preset of that, you can simply just go on this left-hand side, go Add, and it will put an add into this preset folder so you can say high res JPEG save and create. I won't do that because I've already got one over here. So each time I come out, I can say high res JPEG save and it will do all of the things that I've just done there. So quality 100, sRGB, um, none of these boxes ticked that will resize my image. Same with the TIFF, that just makes it TIFF and all the 16-bit, all those sort of things that I have. So now I, I've got all my settings for a high-res JPEG. Uh, I go down to export, but I've got to make sure that it's going to the right place. So I team it up with where my uh, RAWs were kept and I can just go test JPEG for the purpose of today. And I go choose and then export, and then that will export the high-res file. And we'll just come into Photoshop. And in Photoshop, we can go to where I saved it. There's my test JPEG. We bring it up and we can see that the image size is 8,000 pixels wide by 5,500 5, near enough and the resolution is 300 dpi. So that's a 128 meg file, that'll print massive, like huge meters, and it would still look good. Now, if it got resized, that would be a different story. Like say if it, I did have it set on 1000, then the maximum that that is going to print is about that big. But if we go back to open, and this is now a huge file that will print huge. Now, if you wanted, just quickly while we're in Photoshop, I'll just show you, if you wanted to say if you got an order for this picture and the order was 20 by 30 inches, well then you can directly size it by going image, image size, this is in Photoshop, change this to inches, always have this set at 300 dpi, I reckon. So 30 inches and then it will keep its height at 20 inches. And now you have sized that out at 20 by 30, which is made a little bit larger. So that is how I save. But I save out of Lightroom at the camera's resolution. And then um, you can just ship that off to the, the printers and ask for a certain size. So save even if I only want an 8 by 12, I can, I can ship off that um, massive file and they'll just downsize it to 8 by 12. But if you wanted to specific, specifically size it, uh, you can do that in here. But that's how you, and the main objective of this was to show you how to bring this one or bring a photo out of Lightroom. And that's how you do it. If you've got any questions, uh, let us know.